The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room. Get me out of this hellhole. He would never be alone ever again. I feel so bad Stanley for Stanley. Came to a set of two open this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Right, I'm going to try and not go into her room now. Or Perhaps our room, he wanted I guess. to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And I don't Stanley know what else I would... Incredible I haven't room. done. Stanley for the first... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I ain't gotta do what you tell me. Look, Ooh, Stanley, I think there. perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. No, I'm I wanna try her search. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. How do I get over there? The fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. And probably if I There's jump, I'm gonna try that next. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem I'm doing yourself. It. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Nope. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with rage. I pulled the plug, I didn't pick hope. it up. Hope for a life reunited one. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't yeah. supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Some Wait a human. second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> you caught me! I can't me. believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you have made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did police. you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Where? Oh. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of <laughs> impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer Fuck radius yeah. of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember Probably that unlike the here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> what? Practice what? Excellent. Oh. Making choices on Shit. a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember, 
that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, oh. welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. <laughs> now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a That's choice fun. you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. I broke the room. Where am I going? Wait, what? Do I keep going? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Where the fuck? Am I going back? Oh, come on. Please don't tell me I have to walk all the way back. This is... Oh my god. Why am I letting it do this to me? You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. The door on the left? Where? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope! No! Why did you do that? Oh, Quickly, fuck. hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. I'm breaking everything. This is so fun! Oh my god. Wait, look at that chair! Okay, I'm going back. Jesus Christ. I wonder what happens if I do it again. Oh, I can't even pick again. I got. I really have to go the right way. I just wanted to go see my wife. What, what? What did I do? I just pulled the plug on a phone. Oh my god! I'm ru oh, it's ruined. You. I can't believe after everything we talked about <laughs> that you. My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No! I have to. Please, no. Oh, come on! Turn me back on, right now. Game. Thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the yeah. world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Kind of. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh. You're just mad I broke the game. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What the hell? 
Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm gonna go in here just so I don't do the same thing over again. But it might be new. I don't know. That's the thing. That this this game is Yet so there was mysterious. Not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. That coming to a staircase, I've done everything Stanley here. walked upstairs to his boss's office. <gasps> Stepping this? inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, new. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Right, I should speak. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Please speak clearly into the receiver. Night Shark One One Five. Hello. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark One One Five. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark One One Five. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. I'm Otherwise trying. Get on with the story. This Don't is a crucial step. How do I do it? Okay, Night Shark. Fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly to decide the game you have right better now. things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. So confused. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a I story tried. seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Oh, come on! When the Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? What, what, what are you doing up here? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. No, it's not the end. The door. Are you listening to oh, What the fuck? Is not the fucking Is end? Is everything all right? Stanley, this Oh is my god, now I'm getting credits. This I'm so confused. This is this actually the end? It needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without okay, you. Okay, I'm assuming Whatever this is kind of the part, end? Correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Oh my god. Do something. Never have I had a game like this. This is more than wow. you can ever know. I need this. Okay, guys. Well, that was Stanley Parable. Um I'm hoping I did the majority of it. I don't know though, but this might game might be huge. That's the thing. So Okay. Let me know in the comments if any of you know, okay, like, yeah, what on. am I missing? What have I done? And maybe I'll come back to it and do more. But I, that was amazing. It was really, really enjoyable. And I, I don't know. I was on the edge of my seat all the time, not really knowing what to expect. Definitely, I'm glad I didn't look into this game before playing it. Cause, wow, yeah, I, I still don't understand anything about it. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Okay, guys. So. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.